There are many cultures that have a different concept of fidelity than we do. But there is a place in the world where husbands offer their wives as a gesture of gratitude. In this new and censored video, we will learn more about the Inuit culture and the place where they live, one of the most inhospitable and icy, yet beautiful and mysterious places on the planet. Alaska, a place with surprising curiosities, such as the fact that as soon as you arrive at an Eskimo family's house, the owner offers his own wife to spend the night with the new guest. Let's begin. Alaska, although many may not know it, belongs to the United States of America and is its largest state, yet also the least populated due to being one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. But it is also a fascinating destination full of mysteries and curiosities that captivate anyone who visits, as you will see now. Located in the northwest region of North America, Alaska is known for its spectacular natural beauty, its unique wildlife, and its rich indigenous culture, with traditions as uncommon as the one with which this video began. Its remote location and vast stretches of land make Alaska a unique and attractive place for adventurers and nature lovers. The climate in Alaska varies considerably depending on the region and the time of year. In general, the state experiences long and cold winters, with temperatures that can drop below 30 degrees Celsius in some areas. Summers are milder, but still quite cool, with temperatures rarely exceeding 20 degrees Celsius in the inland regions. In coastal areas, the climate tends to be milder due to the influence of the Pacific Ocean. The name Alaska has its origin in the Aleutian word Alaksaksak, which means continent or great land. This denomination was adopted by the Russians when they colonized the region in the 18th century and was later incorporated into English when Alaska became a territory of the United States in 1867. Alaska is accessible by air, sea, and land. Travelers can arrive by plane through various international airports, such as Ted Stevens Anchorage International Airport, the largest in the state. It is also possible to arrive by cruise through the numerous ports of Alaska, or drive through the Glen Highway or the Alaska Highway from Canada. Although English is the primary language spoken in Alaska, the state officially recognizes two indigenous languages, Inupiaq and Gwich'in. These native languages have deep roots in Alaska's history and culture and are spoken by indigenous communities throughout the state. Inupiaq is mainly spoken by the Inupiat in the Arctic region of Alaska, while Gwich'in is spoken by the Gwich'in in the interior of Alaska. The official recognition of these languages reflects Alaska's commitment to the preservation and respect of indigenous cultures that have called this land home for millennia. The inhabitants of Alaska, known as Alaskans, have a series of peculiarities and customs that distinguish them from the rest of Americans. Due to their geographical isolation and unique lifestyle, they have developed a series of unique traditions and behaviors. One of the most striking curiosities is the celebration of the Frozen Beard Festival in the city of Anchorage, where participants compete to see who can grow the longest beard without it freezing. This event, which takes place during the winter months, is a demonstration of the resilience and humor of the people of Alaska in the face of extreme weather conditions. As for the women of Alaska, it is said that they are as tough and brave as the men, capable of surviving in the most adverse conditions. Many of them actively participate in outdoor activities such as hunting, fishing, and hiking, challenging gender stereotypes and demonstrating their great strength. Regarding tourism, Alaska offers a wide variety of impressive tourist destinations that captivate visitors with their natural beauty and diversity. Among these, the most outstanding are Denali National Park. This park is home to the famous Mount McKinley, the highest peak in North America. Thanks to this, the place offers spectacular landscapes that are often among the most photographed by tourists, as well as unique wildlife and plenty of options for hiking and nature observation. Tracy Arm Fjord This stunning glacier fjord is located in southeastern Alaska and is world-renowned for its towering ice cliffs, floating icebergs, and crystal clear waters. It is a popular destination for boat excursions and also for wheel watching. Mendenhall Glacier Located near the city of Juneau, this glacier offers breathtaking panoramic views, spectacular waterfalls, and opportunities for hiking and kayaking among icebergs. 
Another important fact you should know is that Alaska is one of the best places in the world to witness the impressive northern lights. Another of the best places is Iceland, and in the channel you can enjoy a video that we will also leave in the description to better understand what could be the most beautiful country on the planet. In Alaska, these dazzling displays of colorful lights, also known as the Dance of the Spirits, are caused by the interaction of solar particles with the Earth's atmosphere. Clear winter nights in places like Fairbanks offer some of the most spectacular views of this celestial phenomenon, where the lights dance in the night sky, creating an unforgettable show for those fortunate enough to witness it. If you visit Alaska in winter, it's good to know that every year, the city of Fairbanks celebrates the Ice and Snow Festival, an event that attracts visitors from all over the world. During the festival, artists carve impressive ice sculptures, which are displayed in Fairbanks Ice Sculpture Park. In addition to the ice sculptures, the festival offers a variety of activities, including dog sled races, snowmobile competitions, and fireworks shows. If you plan to travel by car, you can't miss another famous spot in Alaska called the Dalton Highway, also known as the Trans-Alaska Highway, one of the most remote and challenging roadways in North America. With over 666 kilometers in length, this route winds through desolate and rugged landscapes, offering spectacular views, but also significant challenges for drivers. With unpredictable weather conditions, rough terrain, and occasional wildlife encounters, traveling the Dalton Highway is a unique experience that tests both the skills and the adventurous spirit of those who venture on it. Regarding gastronomy, Alaska offers a delicious variety of traditional dishes, many of which are influenced by Eskimo culture and local products. Among the most popular foods are wild salmon, king crab, reindeer, and wild blueberries. A very rare and unique dish that comes from the Eskimos is muktuk, which is the skin and blubber of whale or narwhal. This is a traditional delicacy in many Inuit communities in Alaska and is eaten raw or lightly cooked. Muktuk is considered an important source of nutrients and energy in the harsh Arctic environment, and it is valued for its distinctive flavor and unique texture. Undoubtedly, it is a unique culinary experience for those adventurous enough to try it. The indigenous tribes of Alaska are commonly known worldwide as Eskimos, a term that has historically been used to refer to indigenous peoples of the Arctic. The word Eskimo is believed to originate from the Algonquian term Iakame, which translates as eater of raw meat. However, this word has been considered by some as derogatory due to its connotation and the fact that it was used by colonizers to refer to Arctic indigenous peoples. In an effort to reaffirm their identity and avoid the use of a term considered offensive, many of these peoples, especially those in Canada and Greenland, have adopted the term Inuit. Inuit is an ineptitude word meaning the people or real people, and it is considered a more respectful and accurate way to refer to these peoples and their cultures. Inuit culture is an integral part of Alaska's identity that makes it unique and recognizable worldwide. Their traditions and beliefs have been passed down from generation to generation over the centuries. The Inuit, who are the indigenous peoples of the Arctic, have developed a deep connection with the land and the environment, as well as a series of spiritual beliefs and practices that shape their way of life. One of the most important beliefs of the Inuit is the idea that all living beings are interconnected and depend on each other to survive. This holistic conception of the world is reflected in their respect for nature and their carefulness not to overexploit natural resources. Hunting and fishing are fundamental activities in the lives of the Inuit, not only as means of subsistence, but also as integral parts of their culture and tradition, a culture and tradition that has helped them survive in one of the harshest places on earth. Hunting caribou, polar bears, seals, and other wild animals provide food, skins, and other essential materials for survival in the harsh Arctic climate. Both for hunting and for transportation, the Inuit and other indigenous peoples of Alaska make use of sled dogs. These dogs have been an important part of Alaska's culture and history for centuries. During the Gold Rush era, sled dogs played a crucial role in transporting supplies and delivering mail in the state's most remote regions. Today, these dogs remain an integral part of life in Alaska. If you visit this place, you can enjoy exciting sled rides pulled by these incredible animals. 
Slid dogs include several breeds, with Siberian Huskies being one of the most common. These Huskies share physical traits similar to wolves, as they both descend from common ancestors. Additionally, their teamwork spirit and loyalty make them valuable working companions for sleds, where they can travel long distances in. Challenging Terrain These Siberian Huskies are almost as important to Alaska's culture as its own inhabitants. Returning to the Inuit, spirituality plays one of the most important roles in their lives. They practice a unique form of shamanism that focuses on the connection with the spirits of nature and the spiritual world. Traditional rituals and ceremonies, such as drumming and dancing, are used to communicate with the spirits and seek their guidance and protection. But perhaps the characteristic fact that most catches the attention of those who arrive in this place, especially if they do not expect it, is that if a man contacts an Inuit family and they invite him into their home, it is very likely that the husband will offer his wife as a gift as a gesture of hospitality. Probably those who arrive and do not expect it, especially if they arrive as a couple, not only will be surprised, but it may be very difficult for them to refuse this Inuit hospitality, as many of these Eskimos may take the refusal as a serious offense and could respond in the worst possible ways. As stated in the book The North Alaskan Eskimo, a study in ecology and society, as soon as one arrives at an Eskimo family's house, the homeowner offers his own wife to spend the night. And if the visitor does not accept, it is taken as an offense that can even be paid with death. Surprising but true, this fact, how do you feel about it? What do you think of this Inuit practice? Pause the video and leave us your comment. Doing so is the best way to help the channel and we will love to read from you, so thank you. And don't forget to leave a like if you're enjoying this video. This strange display of hospitality towards visitors is done with anyone, as the Inuit consider it a privilege. They offer their wife, but normally it's up to them to decide whether they want to or not. Fortunately, Eskimo women are respected and valued for their work capacity, although the way their partners respect their sexual freedom may seem strange to us. The reason for this unusual hospitality seems to lie in the fact that Eskimo communities are made up of a very small number of people, so these practices serve to increase the variety in their relationships and favor the perpetuation of their members. The Inuit not only lend their wives to new guests, but they also practice the ritual exchange of partners, although always for religious purposes and with the knowledge of their shaman called Anchkak. In Inuit culture, the Anchkak is an important spiritual figure who acts as an intermediary between the human world and the world of spirits. These shamans have special abilities to communicate with spirits and perform rituals and ceremonies aimed at healing illnesses, predicting the future, and protecting the community. They are respected and valued for their wisdom and knowledge of the mysteries of the spiritual world. Shamans are very necessary in the lives of the Eskimos since the Arctic is a place full of mysteries. There are many legends of the Inuit that have fascinated explorers and adventurers for centuries. A tradition of myths that explain the origin of the world, the creation of animals, and other aspects of life in the Arctic. But it's important to know that the Inuit, while they are the most well-known indigenous group in the Arctic region of Alaska, are not the only ones. The Yupik are another important indigenous group in Alaska, especially in the southwest region of the state. Like the Inuit, the Yupik have also lived in the Arctic for centuries and have developed a rich culture and traditions that reflect their deep connection with the land and sea. They are equally known for their skills in hunting, fishing, and ivory carving, as well as for their colorful festivals and ceremonies. Both the Inuit and the Yupik traditionally build ice houses, known as igloos, to protect themselves from the extreme cold. These ingenious structures are made of compacted snow blocks and provide a warm and safe shelter amidst the icy landscape. Although nowadays many Arctic communities use modern housing, the art of igloo building remains an important part of Inuit and Yupik culture. Both Eskimo tribes are skilled hunters, and among their hunting habits, bowhead whale hunting has been a fundamental part of their cultures for centuries. These communities depend on whale meat and blubber for their sustenance, and whale hunting is a ceremonially and spiritually significant activity. Although whale hunting is highly regulated today, it remains an important part of the cultural identity of these Eskimos. 
Eskimos with many mysterious and enigmatic legends as you are about to discover now. One of the most well-known myths is that of Sidna, the goddess of the sea, who is worshipped by the Inuit as the protector of marine animals and the source of all life in the ocean. According to legend, Sidna lives at the bottom of the sea and controls the supply of fish and marine mammals. The Inuit perform ceremonies and offerings to appease Sidna and ensure good fishing. Another popular myth is that of the Kalyapilic, a water spirit believed to inhabit the Arctic seas and kidnaps children who come too close to the water's edge. The Inuit warn their children about the danger of getting too close to the sea, using the story of the Kalyapilic as a form of teaching and protection. And we cannot leave Alaska and its legends without including the legend of the Yeti, also known as the Snowman. Over the years, there have been numerous sightings and accounts of encounters with this mysterious creature in the vast and remote regions of Alaska, making it one of the places on the planet where the most sightings are claimed to have occurred. It is true that if this mythical animal or monster, as some consider it, exists, it is more than likely to have chosen Alaska as its favorite dwelling, a perpetually white place where camouflage would be much easier than anywhere else on Earth. While the existence of the Yeti has not been scientifically confirmed, its legend remains an intriguing part of Alaska's culture and mythology. For some, the Yeti is a feared and mysterious creature, while for others, it is a source of fascination and adventure. Whether real or imaginary, the myth of the Yeti adds an element of mystery and excitement to Alaska's already intriguing history. Every year in Alaska, millions of salmon undertake an extraordinary migration from the ocean to the rivers and streams to spawn. This natural phenomenon, known as the Great Salmon Migration, is one of the most impressive spectacles of nature on the planet, a reality that can only be enjoyed in this place. The rivers of Alaska are filled with activity as the salmon struggle against the fast currents and predators to reach their spawning grounds. This massive migration is not only vital for Alaska's ecosystem, but it also attracts bears, bald eagles, and other animals that depend on salmon as a food source. Another feature that makes Alaska unique and different are its volcanoes. With over 130 active volcanoes, Alaska is one of the most volcanically active regions in the world. These volcanoes are mainly stratovolcanoes, with pronounced cones and steep slopes, making them impressive and majestic, but also potentially dangerous. Volcanic activity in Alaska can pose significant risks to nearby communities and the environment, as eruptions can trigger lava flows, pyroclastic flows, debris avalanches, and the release of toxic volcanic gases. These events can endanger life and property, as well as affect air and water quality. But although volcanic activity can be hazardous, it is also an integral part of Alaska's natural environment, just like its legends and myths. As you have seen, Alaska is a unique place in the world, a region full of mysteries, natural wonders, and a rich culture that dates back centuries. From its breathtaking landscapes to its strange traditions and fascinating beliefs, this state offers an unforgettable experience for those who venture to explore it. From Mundo Sin Censura, we hope that this tour of the mysteries and curiosities of Alaska has been as exciting for you as it has been for us. With that in mind, and considering the effort it takes to produce these videos, we would love for you to leave us a like and your comment, as it is the best way for you to help us continue bringing the best content every week. If you have enjoyed this video and are not yet subscribed, don't wait any longer and do it now by activating the notification bell so you don't miss out on the fascinating videos we produce every week.